Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is just part two. I made another video for the posts. When the user hits process, it's not going to be a get anymore, so it's going to be a post. So as you can see here, if else, in that case, when the user hits post, here what, we, what I'm doing is I'm using the run runtime uh, module to get the current script, and I'm holding it here on this variable. I got some, I got an object here, variable that I'm going to build later on. So none of this is all required, but as you can see, this is what I'm trying to do in my case. From here, as you can see, I'm grabbing any parameters from the request. In that case, in my case, it's going to be this internal ID for the form. So this value is from the form that I got. Uh, or that I created down here. So when I added this form, I'm pulling that value here. Okay, so that's how you pull from the post. Uh, you need this ID when when the post comes in from the request. So that's what I'm saying here. Uh, let me have the value for this variable, which is the text area. And basically, it's just a list of uh, sales orders and as you can see here all I'm doing is saying split by the uh, character return and the next thing I'm doing so I have an array now so next thing I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a date a file time stamp you can name it whatever you want and here what I'm doing is I'm creating a file so I'm gonna name it as the the name of that file is going to be the timestamp and then dot csv now this is not required but I'm just doing this to keep a record what the app is doing what the script is doing and here you need to provide a folder name so just make it's not just a makeup number but you need to look at in your NetSuite uh, script, script um, folder it will give you each folder has an internal ID so make sure you grab that here and type it in here. If not, it's not gonna work. And then the file type that I'm creating is a CSV. So now that I have that CSV file, then I can add to that CSV. So now in my array, what I'm gonna do is for each row that I have, first I'm gonna go find out what's the sales order internal ID and then uh, well, the, and then what it's going to do uh, when it gets back the internal ID, the, the object, what I'm doing from that object is saying, okay, get me the internal ID for that sales order. And that's my internal ID. As you can see here, I'm just logging order number. And here it's saying, okay, here's the order number in the record that I have, go close it. So that function is the one that I cover in a different video, which is here. And then there's a separate video just for that, for this function. And then what I'm doing is saying, well, if, if it returns true, then just say uh, the order number and it, it was closed and do a return in the CSV file. And if it's not, if it's false, then say it fail for now. Then once it's done the loop, then it will say, okay, now CSV file save. And then what I'm saying is load the file again, file.load with the CSV. When it saves, it gives you back an internal ID. So that's what I'm saying here, load that file into this variable. And finally, email it to this person blah 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 something the author is the user internal ID so for example if you need to find your internal ID or anyone's any employee in NetSuite that has an internal ID and just type it in here okay so right now we just do something like that and then the recipient is going to be the one the person or the user that is currently running your script and that's why you need the runtime. You get the current user and their ID. 
So next is gonna say, okay, this is the from and this is the to. And that's your subject, whatever you wanna type. Your body could be anything, text. And then finally, I'm attaching the file, the CSV file. So whoever the recipient is, is gonna get an email with a CSV file. And then finally here, I'm just saying, here's my object that I had at the beginning. Now what I'm gonna do is say CSV, and the CSV uh, is just the ID, basically. I'm passing the CSV ID file. And finally, uh, what I'm doing is using redirect back to the suitlet. So which suitlet it is, then here you can just do whatever suitlet number you have. So I'm here, usually the, the ID start with custom script and there's always a number. So you could do that. Just make sure you find what the what your suitlet script ID is to type it in here. And then the deployment ID, it could be anything. So it could be two or three or anything you name it in your net suite. And finally it's gonna return. Basically when it posts, it's ju it'll just come back to your form. It'll come back to this section here again into the get so you can process another set of sales orders that you want to close so if you have any questions it might be kind of quick and fast but i'm trying to keep the videos short but if you have any questions uh, let me know in the description and i'll try to help you uh, to the best that i can okay so thank you for watching